Uh, I just got off work and I saw a video of an older gentleman talking about quiet quitting and how like our generation is just lazy and we don't want to work for anything and how we're never going to be able to go uh, get the brand new house or the new car because we're not putting in the extra work. Most of the videos... Representing older gentlemen, although I agree with uh, Team Gen Z, I identify as Gen Z. That's partly a joke, partly not. The fact is, I don't have any children that I know of. I'm unmarried, never been married. I can afford to take risks. I can afford to live a life like that. I'm going back to school now, uh, working on getting an associate's in engineering and then going for a uh, bachelor's of science, probably in mechanical engineering. I already have a bachelor's of science in economics. When I earned that BS in economics, I was working for a bank that rhymes with Bell's Cargo. And you know what? They didn't care when I graduated. I worked for them for about nine years, basically doing sales in a uh, call center, though. And I think at the end of the day, because I was in really bad shape now i'm going to a boxing gym three days a week i should step that up to like four days a week at least more i don't you know work in progress but i was in really bad shape nine years in a call center will have that effect as well all else being equal but they wanted someone pretty they wanted a pretty girl or a handsome dude they didn't want me and uh, Bell's Cargo wasn't going to hire me in the branch. And that was the logical path to get what I wanted, working for the company store, to get in the branch, and then get into uh, the equity side of things, which is why you know I was interested in working for the bank that long, why I was pursuing my degree in economics in part. But it didn't matter. I ended up, uh, after a transition teaching, high school algebra for about two years, algebra one and two. And uh, that was also very depressing and bad for my mental health because I was living someone else's life. Uh, maybe some single middle-aged people would love that job, but not this single middle-aged person at the end of the day because I'm surrounded by people and their families and teachers and their families, the kids and their families. They're asking me for personal advice about relationships and it's like I'm playing the role of a dad and I'm not a dad. It was bad for my mental health and I realized I need to live my life and I need to take more risks. But I have people that judge me and people say you need to do this or that and you know what? Screw the haters. So I'm on the side of Team Gen Z. Seize the day. Carpe diem.